as you probably know, and I've talked about in past shows, uh, Putin is uh, amassing troops and uh, weapons uh, on the Ukrainian border since uh, for the last few months. Uh, there's about 100,000 mm -hmm. uh, Russian troops on the eastern border of Ukraine. Uh, there's already a piece of eastern Ukraine that is uh, occupied, if you will, by uh, Russians who are affiliated, ethnic Russians who are affiliated with Russia, but who are Ukrainians, technically. And uh, there is ongoing shooting uh, between Ukrainians, people from, you know, the, 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 the Ukrainians and these Russian insurgents uh, on the sliver on the uh, eastern border. And what I thought I'd do in order to make this uh, a little bit more interesting and just, just in the beginning, and we're not going to do this the whole time, is I thought I'd put up a map of Ukraine, which might, I think, because I don't know how many of you uh, know where Ukraine is, know who it borders with, know anything about Ukraine. So I figured I'd put up a, a map. I like maps. I don't know if you guys like maps, but I really like maps. And uh, I think that if we have a map in front of us, that makes it a little easier to talk about. So hopefully you can see that. Let me know. Whoops. Let me let me let me let me let me activate the chat. Uh, let me know if you can see the map. Can you see the map? Um, this is a map of kind of Eastern Europe, and um, and uh, Russia. Oh God, I have to also copy down the super chat question. So one second, let me. Michael's uh, jumping in with $20 Super Chat questions, which is great, but let me just copy those down because otherwise they'll disappear for me on the Super Chat. And then we'll go back to the map. And, and uh, Daniel says he can see his house on the map. It's not a satellite image, Daniel. It's a map. Map don't have houses on them. Um, anyway, here's the map. Um, I don't know. Can you see my mouse uh, as it travels along uh, the map? But... but um, this is uh, you can see Ukraine kind of in the center of the map. Let me see. Can you see the? Can you see the mouse? Anybody see the mouse? Okay. So Ukraine has a eastern border with Russia. You can see it down here. This is down in the Black Sea. This kind of islandy looking thing that is Crimea, which the Russians took uh, a few years ago from uh, from Ukraine, and uh, the Russians now occupy it, claiming it's their territory. So. Uh, they don't consider it occupation. Uh, Ukraine's uh, capital is Kiev, which is up here close to the Belarusian border, uh, but not too far from the Russian border. This area on the eastern side of you on the eastern border of Ukraine is where uh, the Russians kind of have occupied a sliver of that as uh, uh, in uh you know, we, we, ethnic Russians has, have claimed uh, that that is. It is West Ukraine and Kiev which are particularly interested in aligning themselves with the West. Um, they do not want to be under the influence of Russia. They are not interested in being a satellite state of the Russians. They would like to see themselves integrated into the European Union and into Europe. They, they are, um, uh, you know, advocates of and believers of kind of Western values that aren't interested in being uh, under the thumb of uh, Vladimir Putin, the uh, the authoritarian dictator of of uh, Russia, to the north of Ukraine, you have Belarus. Belarus is a satellite country of uh, of Russia. Uh, Belarus is uh, uh, is a dictatorship. Uh, you might have followed some of the news out of Belarus earlier. Um, uh, last year, where Belarus, uh, there were a lot of demonstrations. Of Belarus, the, 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 those demonstrations were crushed, and then the Belarusians kind of imported, took it, uh, imported uh, Muslim immigrants into Belarus, put them on the Polish border to try to come into Europe just to antagonize the Europeans. Uh, this is Poland. Poland has a border with Ukraine, and it kind of its northeast section, Slovakia. Uh, has an eastern border with Ukraine. Hungary has an eastern border with Ukraine. And Romania and Moldova have eastern borders with Ukraine. Um, Hungary, Slovakia, Poland, Lithuania to the north that does not have a border with Ukraine but has a border with Belarus. Latvia, which has a border both with Russia and Belarus. And Estonia, which only has a, a, a border with, with Russia. 
All of those countries are NATO countries. All of those countries belong to the NATO alliance. Ukraine does not belong to the NATO alliance. Belarus does not belong to the NATO alliance. Neither does uh, Moldova. So what you have here is Moscow's excuse for putting troops on the Ukrainian border and threatening to invade is that they want to prevent Ukraine from becoming a NATO member. Because if Ukraine becomes a NATO member, then you have NATO troops all along the Russian border, uh, and they, they don't have a buffer between Russia and Eastern European NATO countries like Poland, uh, Slovakia, Hungary, and the, and the Baltic, uh, on the Baltic countries. So uh, that is the excuse Putin uh, is presenting. Well, what's really going on here is that Putin uh, long ago has said that uh, he, uh, you know, that hopefully this uh, map you can see here, Central Europe, here's Germany, here's the Czech Republic, here's Austria. You can see Italy, Netherlands. You can see all of Western Europe here. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, close that. So you get a sense of where Ukraine is, where Russia is, why Ukraine is important to Russia. Ukraine is important to Russia because Ukraine is a barrier between NATO countries, between Eastern European countries that have aligned completely with uh, Europeans, Western Europeans, and with NATO, and between Russia. Uh, Russia would like to believe, and Putin has said, uh, that the greatest tragedy of the 20th century was the dissolution of the Soviet Union. He believes that Russia is a grand empire that should have massive influence, um, particularly uh, over Europe and uh, Central Asia. Uh, he wants to be able to maintain his influence over all of Eastern Europe. He would love NATO to um, uh, retreat from Poland, uh, from Slova Slovakia, from, from the Czech Republic, certainly from the Baltic states, uh, so that he, Putin, and Russia can reassert their own uh, influence over that part of uh, Europe, which he thinks uh, justly belongs somehow to a mythical and uh, uh, and uh, imagined Russian empire. Russia is, in Putin's perspective, uh, the dominant uh, the dominant player in Eastern Europe and should be uh, the center of gravity for Eastern Europe. And the fact that uh, some of these Eastern European countries like Poland and like the Baltics before the West, is an offense to Putin. Uh, Ukraine has expressed its interest in being uh, part of the West uh, over and over again. It did so for the first time, I think it was in uh, 2005, in the Orange Revolution, when they overthrew uh, and established a, a kind of a, a democratic government in Ukraine and voted in a pro-Western president. At the time... Back then, there were discussions about Ukraine joining NATO. Uh, those discussions never led to anything, and it wasn't actually uh, achieved. Uh, after that, uh, a, a, the president who came to power was much more aligned with the Russians, uh, was incredibly corrupt. And in 2014, the Ukrainians and their Maidan revolution, a, a truly heroic, uh, many Ukrainians lost their lives as part of this. Uh, forced the pro-Russian president to uh, to run away, to escape uh, to Russia, uh, replaced him with a president who was pro-West. Uh, and in a recent election, I don't know if you know this, but a comedian who played president, the president of Ukraine on television was elected president of Ukraine. And he is definitely very pro-West. Uh, so Ukraine has expressed through uh, voting um, its... Uh, interest in being uh, a part of the West. Now, part of the complication for Ukraine is Ukraine has never developed its natural resources. Ukraine probably sits on quite a bit of natural gas, uh, but it is it, 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 nobody has invested in, uh, it, you'd probably need to frack, nobody's invested uh, in the natural resources in Ukraine. And Ukraine today is completely dependent for natural gas, for heating. Uh, for power on uh, Russian natural gas. But more than that. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. 
show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.